Let's say that you had a program that calculated the total price of something. So you had scanner keyboard new scanner system.in import scanner. We can ask the user enter the price then we can store the price as double price is signed to keyboard dot next double then we can get the quantity system dot out dot print line enter the quantity get that from the user and we will simply store that as int qty is keyboard dot next int. And we can print out the total system dot out dot print line. The total is And I forgot to set the total, so let's do that really quickly. Double total is price times quantity. So let's simply ask the user enter a price of something, 345. We want six of these. The total is $20.70. But we're not doing any kind of formatting, so maybe we should we'll use printf and say the total is percent total is dollar sign percent dot two f will format it and we'll replace the plus with the comma and that will print out something a little bit clearer for three dollars so the, so enter the price of three dollars and forty five cents we want six of those and that looks a little bit better okay so that's our entire program but it's terminated it's done what if we wanted to run this program again without terminating the program what we could do is we can ask the user System.out.println. Do you want to calculate another total? Yes or no? So let's grab that answer from the user. String answer is keyboard.next. I'm going to grab the string from the user. And now that we have this answer, we yes or no whether or not they want to run this program again we can wrap our entire program with the word do so let's do all this all over again while the answer is equal to yes and we're getting an error because answer is declared as a string within these curly braces and it only lives from here to there so we need to move the scope of answer outside of the do. So let's remove the word string and we'll declare answer outside of the word do up here. String answer. And now it's getting an error because because that's the wrong method name. It should be equals, not equal. Okay, so here we go. And let's try the program now. So let's fix the indentation a little bit because we have do here and it closes there and everything inside is not indented. So you can quickly control A to highlight everything in your program and control I will automatically fix all your indentation for you. So that's a quick way to do it. Looks a little bit cleaner and we know what belongs to the, the do body of code. So let's run this program now and try it out. So let's see. Enter the price. So $1.99 three of these the total is five dollars and ninety seven cents so we should have probably placed the backslash n right here so that it doesn't ask the next question on the same line so backslash n we'll run it again price is 199 three of these total is 597 do you want to calculate another total I'm going to type yes and then it goes again the whole program just repeated itself say 296 it's eight of these and there's the total 
Do I want to calculate another total? Watch what happens if I type a lowercase yes. The program terminates because it's looking for guess with a capital Y. It's Java is case sensitive. So what you could do is change the equals method to a dot equals ignore case. You see that? Pass yes in there and then it doesn't matter whether they entered uppercase or lowercase letters, it'll keep repeating. Enter the price, so $3.42, nine of these. Do I wanna calculate another total? Yes, in all caps, and the program still goes on. Once I type anything other than yes, program stops.